ribbon compared to other fiber reinforcements. Manageability. The most obvious difference between ribbon and other fiber reinforcements is its manageability and ease of use. Ribbon has virtually no memory and does not unravel when cut and adapted to the teeth. These videos demonstrate Ribbon's superior manageability in comparison to other dental fiber reinforcements. Other materials either unravel when adapted or have too much memory, which makes them difficult to use and do not allow for a close adaptation of the fibers against the teeth. Thick bond lines compromise clinical longevity by decreasing the shear strength of the composite resin layer between the fibers and the teeth. Having virtually no memory allows for a close placement of the ribbon fibers against the teeth. Close placement not only results in thinner and more comfortable prostheses for the patients, but also results in thin bond lines between the fibers and the surfaces of the teeth. Just like a porcelain veneer or orthodontic bracket, close placement of the fibers against the teeth maximizes clinical results. Please see the video on the Ribond website that describes the mechanisms in which fiber reinforcements work and compares Ribond to other materials. Strength and Fracture Toughness Dentists sometimes ask how strong is a particular dental material without realizing that there are many different qualities that define strength. To understand strength, we have to know what particular quality of strength relates to the expected mode of failure. We designed Ribbon to be strong in the strength quality that material scientists value the most in a fiber reinforcement. This is the quality of fracture toughness. Fracture toughness is the quality of a material to resist the rapid propagation of cracks. Marketers of glass fiber reinforcements sometimes try to use flexural strength and flexural modulus, which are measurements of stiffness, to try to suggest clinical performance. However, any structural engineer will tell you that it is easier to design a structure for stiffness using non-stiff materials than it is to design a structure for fracture toughness using non-fracture tough materials. In other words, structural mode of failure tends to not be due to a lack of stiffness, but rather is due to a lack of fracture toughness. Why is Ribbon the most fracture tough dental fiber reinforcement? The same fibers used to make Ribbon are used to make bulletproof vests. Glass fibers are not used for the very simple reason that they are brittle and not fracture tough. This video demonstrates that by simply bending a glass fiber reinforcement back and forth that the glass fibers can break. The glass fibers are not fracture tough. As these videos show, this is not the case with Ribbon. Ribbon's patented lock stitch lena weave reinforces in multiple directions. Because of the mechanical interlocking of one thread to the next, any crack propagation in the resin is stopped. Unidirectional fiber orientations or loosely braided materials lack these mechanical connections of one thread to the next and therefore do not prevent cracks from propagating parallel to the direction of the fibers. Ribbon has an ideal bond strength of the fibers to resin. Marketers of glass fiber reinforcements suggest that high bond strengths of glass fibers to dental resins is a positive feature for their materials. These marketers take advantage of the fact that people in the dental industry generally equate high bond strengths to mean better clinical results. Although high bond strengths are desirable for bonding resin to teeth, counterintuitively, this is not true for fiber reinforcements. Physics and reality beat marketing hype every time. We refer to the work of recognized material scientists. As the famous material scientist J.E. Gordon explains, we do not want too high of a bond strength of the fibers to the resin. Although having high bond strengths might increase the flexural strength of the fiber reinforced structure, it has the very unfortunate side effect of creating brittleness. J.E. Gordon explains that we want the fibers to have a bond to the resin that is not too weak and not too strong. This allows cracks to deflect when they reach the fibers, which absorbs energy and prevents the rapid propagation of the crack. Ribbon has an ideal mid-strength bond to the composite resins that maximizes its fracture toughness. A good example of this phenomenon is safety glass in windshields. A thin film of plastic is placed between the two panes of glass to act as a weak interface that redirects and blunts the energy of the crack from transferring from one sheet of glass to the other. Perhaps a more appropriate example of this phenomenon is tooth enamel. It is very common for tooth enamel to have cracks that have not propagated to a point in which the tooth has structurally failed. Each enamel prism is surrounded by a protein sheath. 
these protein sheaths create relatively weak bonded interfaces between the enamel prisms. These relatively weak interfaces blunt and redirect cracks, making the enamel fracture tough. If there was a strong bond of one enamel prism to the next, the tooth enamel would be brittle and our teeth would shatter with relative ease. Ribbond, a fracture tough material. The unique combination of Ribbond's super tough bulletproof fibers, patented lock stitch lena weave, and bondability characteristics make Ribbond the most fracture tough fiber reinforcement available to the dental industry. This chart demonstrates the fracture toughness of Ribbond versus a glass fiber reinforcement. Fracture toughness is measured in these charts by the gross area under the curves. Although a glass fiber reinforcement might have higher flexural strength, you can see how the gross area under the glass fiber curve is significantly less than the curve under the ribbon. For those dental professionals who wish to learn more about how fibers strengthen dental resins and prevent fracture failures, more in-depth explanations are available at our website, ribbon.com. Go to Resources and then go to Fiber Comparisons. Some marketers of glass fibers claim that it is possible to polish glass fibers, but it is not possible to polish ribbon. This is partially true, but it is misleading. Because glass fibers are brittle, they can be cut with a burr at the same rate as the composite resin, leaving a smooth surface. Ribbon is a fracture tough material, and a burr will not cut it at the same rate as cutting the composite resin, resulting in fuzzy exposed fibers. However, polishing really means cutting fibers just like you would not want to climb a mountain using a rope that has been cut, you would not want to reinforce resins with cut fibers. In other words, it is not a good idea to polish any type of fibers and expect them to effectively reinforce composite resins. Indefinite Shelf Life Another unique feature of Ribbond is that it has an indefinite shelf life. Most competitors have a shelf life of around two years. This is especially beneficial and cost-effective to dentists who might not use fiber reinforcements frequently in their office. 